Ukrainian troops abandoned a key stronghold over the weekend following months of bombardment and dwindling supplies. As Madeline Rivera reports from Washington, President Biden is continuing to push Congress to pass additional aid for Ukraine. Madeline, good morning. Good morning, Janae. That's right. Ukraine's president says they need more supplies to keep holding off Russia's advances. But it's unclear clear when or if that aid will come from the U.S. Russian tanks roll into the city of Avdika in eastern Ukraine following a months-long onslaught from Russian forces. Ukraine's president says his troops are in need of more U.S. weapons and ammunition to prevent Russia from taking more territory. We are counting on this positive decision of the Congress. For us, this package is vital. A decision that currently resides in the House and could be weeks away. Lawmakers left town for a two-week break without voting on an aid package passed by the Senate last week, a decision blasted by President Biden. Two weeks. What are they thinking? My God, this is bizarre. And it's just reinforcing all the concern and, and, and almost, I won't say panic, but real concern about the United States being a reliable ally. House Speaker Mike Johnson dismissed the criticism and says he won't be pushed into voting on the more than $95 billion foreign aid package that includes money for Ukraine. Some Democrats, though, think Johnson is simply caving to outside pressure. As he's afraid they're going to kick him out as Speaker unless he uses Democratic, uh, unless he goes with Democratic support. And in that case, he's going against Donald Trump. But there are a number of Republicans who still believe Congress will deliver on resupplying Ukraine Ukraine and other key allies. And I do think that there is an opportunity when we get back to Washington to move this important aid package forward because it is so critical. A potential vote on the foreign aid package could be more than a week away with a House not scheduled to return until February 28th. Janae. All right, Madeline Rivera there with Fox News Channel. Madeline, we appreciate you joining us this morning on Live Now you from Fox course, to keep the you. viewers informed. You enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Thanks, Janae.